Okay, we're learning more, everyone, about the new Apple TV, or we should say improvements that Apple is making to Apple TV. Uh, you'll be able to shop more on your Apple TV. You'll be able to use something like Gilt, a well-known website for luxury goods. Uh, the whole idea is to make it more consumer-friendly. We've talked uh, for years, right, about integrating the television platform into the consumer platform. So uh, you could just look on your screen, and if you like the outfit that a particular character on a show is wearing, boom, you'd be able to buy it right then and there. There. That's the idea behind what Apple's trying to do here. Jolene Kent is outside the event in San Francisco for us, along with John Biggs, who's joining me in studio. He's the TechCrunch senior analyst. And, and John, I want to start with you. Uh, as we learn more here about Apple TV, uh, it, does it satisfy, satisfy you? I mean, does this, does this sound like progress, or, or were you expecting something more? <laughs> well, anything's better than what has happened so far. Apple TV hasn't changed for... Uh, years, really. So this is actually kind of a big deal because they're adding gaming, they're adding uh, all new content, they're adding amazing stuff with Siri that you can actually search for uh, stars in actual television shows. So you say, I want to see a show with Ed Norton and he shows up for you. It's crazy. I, why is it taking this long, Joe? You know, it's taken Apple TV a long time for one major reason. They were hoping to unveil today deals with different cable news networks and cable providers and uh, content creators, uh, uh, even bigger version of Apple TV, which they have not yet unveiled. Uh, sources do say that they have not been able to strike those deals. So there is where the big challenge has been. But these changes certainly make it very consumer friendly for families who want to do more gaming, as you mentioned, shopping <laughs> online. So we're watching them continue to unveil different apps, but you're seeing a new operating system now that can really support a lot more stuff, a lot more stuff that you can do. But we'll see how investors and analysts react to this because the real hope was about all the content, which they still don't have. Well, you know, you talk about the cable TV providers not being so on board with all of this. John, what's the holdup here? Because, you know, in some ways, a lot of cable TV providers love the idea of being able to, to be in bed with Apple on something. And at the same time, the reality is it's a bit of a competitor. Absolutely. Well, the the cable TV providers, they don't want to put all their stuff all a cart. They don't want to put it all on the uh, on the box as quickly as possible. They mm -hmm. have a lot of channels that are available all a cart obviously. You have your HBOs. What the real get would be with something like a, a sports channel where you can get uh, football, basketball, all that other good stuff. That's the real get for something like the Apple TV and it's a real get for almost anybody. Uh, who's doing yeah, in no, TV no stuff. sports? I mean, the reality is live events, live TV, that kind of stuff definitely matters. And the sports, of course, brings you that as well as the market, right? We're going to market everyone that's off about 98 points. We're going to continue following it for you. Thank you so much, John and Joe. A